Hi guys, it's me from the future. So I'm just um, popping in to say thanks for watching this video basically before you start. Um, it's going to be a long one because it took about a couple of months to get this ball bar done. Um, but in, in the process you'll, I guess, get to go over my thought process because I changed it up a few times, which is why it's split into parts. So I think it's about four parts. So um, I'll be putting them over a few few weeks just um, you know, to get something out there. But um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you have any comments or things that you think I should do differently next time, put in the comments below. I won't do it next time because like fucked out. It was just a one-time thing. Um, but it turned out pretty cool. I'm actually really happy with it. So um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. And um, if you do, hit a like, um, subscribe and all that. Share it with your friends. Um, hashtag built not bought, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, enjoy the video. Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be making a bull bar for my T40 Navarro. Because um, I really don't like the ARB one, I just wanted to give it a go because I've got it off the road for the moment and I put a body lift in and I was going to lift the ARB one but I decided I'd just like maybe take it off and make one so that's what it looks like at the moment. Um, got the steel here which is 5mm thick sheet, um, this is 1.2 by 2.4 length and then I've got some tubing as well which is 40, 40 NB, 42 point, or 48.8 I think it is by 3.2. And then this is 32NB, which is 42.3 by 3.2 mil. And then underneath this sheet, which I haven't got out yet, is a, a piece of 10 mil thick flat bar, which is 300 mil wide for the winch plate. Um, but yeah, I basically just want to make one that's like follows the body line a bit more and also has a bit more height as well. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So this is the um, the ball bar design that I'm going for. Um, it looks like a Razzler book style ball bar um because that's just what I really liked looking at um so like you got the angle up sort of thing um the angle hoops the tubing for the side pieces and also like this kind of angled sort of bottom piece too um now I've planned for a run of a winch which I took these dimensions off their website which is why it looks pretty accurate um so I'll make sure I do the holes for that um I'm also going to make sure that the, the width, this is the exact width of my number plate, so I'm going to make sure it fits between that too, and so there's no bit sticking off the sides, because I know the Razzler ones do that, um, but I wanted to, you know, have it like that instead. Um, this is the first time I've used this software just to do this, but basically um, that's why these tubings are not one smooth piece. Um, but yeah, so you'll have a bend in the middle which will angle forward, and then you got the angry eye sort of look. Um, and also this piece at the top is, is thick enough so that I can mount spotlights there. Um, now, this is the winch plate I'll be using. It's 10 mil thick and I'll plan on having it come up to the, the like these edges here at the front um, so that it's structural and it's kind of sits where the, these parts will mount to the chassis. So these chassis mounts three bolts through the front to that go th directly through the sides, like all the way through the chassis and I'll probably put another piece on the outside on this edge here, just for some um, added, added strength and also some gusseting as well probably in there. Um, and also in the side wings I'll probably do a piece of tubing like this just to um, strengthen it a bit. So yeah that's the design, I still need to figure out how I'm going to mount the bash plate that I've got, the custom off road one because I still won't be able to use it, um, but like if I look at the front and I um, turn on the picture of the car, this is kind of what it will look like. Um, you can see the ARB on the ground there, looking pretty sad like, um, with it off, but um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm going for, so hopefully it uh, turns out that way, and yeah, as you can see, the, the wings follow the body line of the car, uh, like the, the headlight sort of line, which looks better, I think, than just being square and looking like a box, so yeah, we'll see how that goes then. Alright, so I've got these little cardboard cutouts that I made up for the... For like the shape of the sides as you can see it's going to have a bit of a, a bend in so 163 from the outside obviously not inside not, not that measurement but like this measurement here is 163 degrees like the angle but basically so they should lean in a little bit like that that's to cut about that far um obviously there'll be parts that come up and go like along here so that's why it's a bit lower than the actual grill but it might come up higher depending on oh no, actually I think that's pretty good. Anyway, I don't have a winch but I made this box that's exact dimensions of a run but as you can see the amazing drawing but if I bring it in here and put it in it'll sit about there and you can see maybe a little bit lower. 
it, the, the, the wings come up like tighter at the top of it and then an angle in just a bit in front of just in line of it and then the pieces in front will come up in front so but yeah and then it will be like in line with the, the plate will be in line with the bottom like this part here all right so <laughs> it looks a bit dodgy but cardboard design is in here basically this was just to get like an idea of making sure that's all going to fit um, where I want it to come up to because the CAD thing I did it wasn't like perfect I was kind of just like more of an idea as well um, but yeah so this is like a bit of the angles um, and it will just give me an idea of what degrees and stuff I need to cut it so basically now I can start transferring these side ones into the middle get them cut out and um, and like on here because once they're on then I can start like getting the rest of it and probably like measuring them up and everything like that because it's obviously cardboard is a bit finicky like you can see it just looks like fucking nothing at the moment but anyway we'll get the sides on there now all right I've got the design made now marked up on this so you can see I've just marked the angles so this line in the middle here is where I've got to cut it because that's where this part will join into this but at a bit of an angle but anyway I just marked the other angles and stuff and did a quick measurement across just in case I forgot the cut but yeah holes for the mounting so I cut this piece out first and then I'll cut this out get the holes drilled for this and then like check if fits make sure that I make another one of these and then go from there all right so I've got like these mounts now bolted up I haven't tacked them in yet but I'm just gonna get them level first but you can see there's a lot of a uh, cut I don't have a bender to like cut them in one piece and just bend it um, and also you can probably see that this one's angling back a bit like that but the the ones for me I'll be the same as well um, because of this little like filler thing which is like you can see this tab here which these things are fucking annoying they keep falling out um, they're not as thick as like or the gap or whatever like the, the ledge of this thing is I don't really know what I'm trying to say but um, anyway so now I'm gonna make sure these are all straight like up and down on both sides and level with each other and all that and um, all these are okay and like bolted in so I'll loosen off a little bit and move it all around and then I'll tack these all in so that they're all done and then I can get the next pieces on which will which will go something like something like that bit of an angle in I can see I've, I marked a dot up there for stuff later on anyway but yeah so that's what I'm gonna do now all right so I've got a little things tacked up well done the best but I don't really care um, and I've started like making the other part too, like the the big boxy part that has the winch. So yeah, that's what it's kind of looking like at the moment. You can see it like angles out, inward, sorry, should I say. And then, yeah, it's about where we're at at the moment. So then tomorrow, you can make the, the part that comes inwards like that, and then straight across, and then back down, and then up the top, it'll be up, flat, and down. These like dots on the grill are my reference points for the, um, how high it comes up and then across and down because I made sure that it's going to fit the spotlights between like this section here and obviously left and right as well. Alright so we're back at it again today. Um, I was going to just try and get the winch play on but there's a bit of things I'm not really happy about with the like dimensions of like these parts I guess being similar to the same other side like that size 5mm further that way that plate than this one and it's meaning that like the window wings plate goes in it's gonna look crooked and stuff and also just like these gaps are a bit off so I'm not super happy about that so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take cut the welds off here here and just take this front piece off because I'm happy with how this is because um, the angles and stuff are all good um, but then I'm gonna try to fix this side because this side's already cut as you can see with the video yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the tacks on this side try to see if I can slide this back or forward actually sorry um, and then trim this one off at the same spot. Alright, so I did a little update yesterday and I did end up like cutting out the winch plate as you can see here and drawing the holes for it, which was 254 by 114.3. Um, it's pretty much close enough, but this is 11 mil size holes and the bolts are only 10 or 10 and a bit. Anyway, so what I tried to do yesterday was cut off the mount because I needed to redo it because I fucked up um, and that side I had to trim this piece off like around there and I've already cut it back now to sort of, like line up but it was like this part here was like really out and out. I just wasn't happy with how it was like sitting it was just annoying the fuck out of me so I took this whole side off here 
today, took this piece off, this piece off, and this piece off. Just used the Dremel to cut in like, these hard to reach spots. Cleaned it all up um, with the grinder. Um, also, I had the winch plate in there, which is why these standoffs are here. Um, there's two over there too. But I took it out again, cut it off, and we took it out. And so I've got this one to be the same length back and forth with that one there. That one is sitting up higher, so I'll explain in a second. But I got this one as best I could, as high as I could. And then cinch that back on, put this one back on. And as you can see now, it's got the ledge as well, because I did actually trim it back, because I wanted it to be the same distance here and here as the other side. Um, and then tacked all these ones back on. And these ones are lined up way better now, like heaps better. It's actually crazy how much it did. And um, the distance between here and here and here and here is the exact same, which is good. But the only thing at the moment is it's 0.7 of degree out and it needs to come up this way. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, this is back when I'm starting, back what I was going to say now, is I'm going to cut these mounts off with the Dremel and then lower this side by a little bit until it brings that level with the, with the car. Because I use this point up here as my reference because it's the middle of the car, it's the flattest point there. That's my reference. So I'll cut off these tomorrow and get that in back. Like make sure I don't move it forward or back, just make sure I move it down um, a little bit and then I uh, should be able to tack that back on and then we should be pretty good there and then I can put the winch plate back in and I'll be a lot happier because yeah after last night when I did a bunch of work I was like heaps unsatisfied with how it was looking and I was actually really worried so then I'll also cut this tomorrow as well to make sure it's back the right way but anyway so hopefully that means that tomorrow I can get the main box part of the car sorted, or the, of the bar sorted, sorry, and then put the winch plate back in, and then it should be then onto making all the the ledges, like for the spotlight mounts um, and the bash plate parts. So yeah, it's it's exciting. All right, so um, yesterday I had pretty much took it all apart and redid this whole side. So today what I've done is I cut off the mounts for this piece here. This along here and all these bits there um, and try to lower it as much as I could it didn't really go down too far but this is now instead of being 0.7 out is now 0.3 out I believe so it's like way more following the body line it's very more much more obvious um, not much more straight now so if you're looking at it I don't really care like it doesn't have to be like perfect but it's just when you look at it I want it to be good so um, that's now back on there so what I've also done as well the winch plate was really far out, as you can see this side here has got a bit of a ledge now, oh it's hot, um, and this side is fl flush with this piece here, and it's just because of the way that the mounts are sitting, so that's my fault, but what I've done is I took off the um, these two brackets and put them up higher now, and so now I've got the winch plate sitting 0.1 out of um, the, the car, which um, is way better, so I'm happy with that, so what I'm going to do next pretty much is... Um, there's going to be some strip pieces of 5mm in the gaps that I fucked up as you can see with my stupid cutting but it's just that it's going to sit there like that um, just to reinforce the whole thing but like even if I just shake the whole thing now the whole thing moves as one unit it's only when I push it back and forth that this thing flexes so having like a piece in here will strengthen that up but yeah it's um, looking heaps better um, as much as, as much effort as it was to like pull everything apart and do it again um, definitely worth it so I also need to figure something out because I it yet but I have a bash plate that goes from like here and it sits up about here for the radiator bash plate um, on the RV bar I had, I had this bar going across which is incorporated in the mount but I didn't really take that into consideration when I did this so what I'm going to have to do is probably mount it after I extract some screws that are stuck in that, that cross member piece um, put it screw it in down there and see how far it comes up and when I make the bottom piece here I'll mark holes so that I can put some holes in there for it I mean I forgot to mention this is with the grill on and the, the winch or the box winch dimensions thing that I have in there you can see there's like a tiny gap there but obviously this is a tiny bit bigger than the actual winch is going to be so like it's fine because there'll be heaps of clearance still especially like the ends where it like dips down as well it's just the middle parts here so that means I can still put the grill I mean sorry the, the body line stuff that I'll trim in this section here but yeah I haven't had better work on it for the last few days because it's been raining but I've just come back and um so what I've done is put the um, the little like bracing pieces here, which is just like some offcuts that I had. So this side, I've just tacked it at the moment, which you can see it's like 
obviously doesn't flex anymore when I push it. I don't know if you saw it before. But, um, this one I flicked my mate, he said that just underneath, just tack it, it's fine. It doesn't matter about the bottom because obviously I'm going to have the plates here because I was wondering if I needed to poppy weld it before I put the bottom pieces on, but he said it's fine. So I just leave them tacked at the bottom here and then when we obviously go to weld up the proper thing, I'll be able to do this whole, whole sides and stuff. So um, I kind of want to get the um, top pieces on now because I reckon that will really like close it in and make it look heaps better. Um, so I'll see if I've got time today because I've got a little bit of stuff to do later on. So I've only got like an hour left. So I'll see if I can maybe at least cut two of the pieces out from here and tack those on. And then I can just leave the middle piece for another time because I've got to do the drill the holes as well for the um, light bars. So. so yeah, that's the plan now. Right, so it's been a few days and it's finally stopped being wet enough so I can actually come out and do stuff. Um, I've just tacked these little shelf pieces on. They had to be of a weird angle, like it's like flat here and then like at the highest point up there and tilted back a bit so that this part's like flat for where the spotlights are going to mount. Anyway, so currently just um, marking out the spotlight mounting pretty much. Uh, it's hard to see with the glare, but basically this angle's in a tiny bit on both sides and these are the mounts for where the, those rubber things will go because they put them the spotlights there next to each other. They have to be a bit off center like this, but that's the best way it's going to fit on there, otherwise they're going to be uh, hitting each other, but yeah, so that's uh, how they're going to sit, but yeah, look, it's going to look pretty good. So I'm just going to cut that in, um, get that drilled out and then tacked on and give it a little test, make sure it looks all good. So I've done like the whole boxing of that top part now, um, and the spotlights have been drilled, the holes for them at least. As you can see you've got the bolts actually going through, I haven't tightened them up, just put them on to see what it looks like. So yeah, it's going to look pretty good. To be honest, um, the only thing I forgot to do really was to make sure they weren't sticking out too far. Um, so, I mean, I might drill, I don't know, I might drill like redrill the holes a bit further back maybe. Alright, so just redrill the holes, and as you can see, that sits back Oop, uh, there, way better. Like it's sitting behind the bar, which is fine because, like, obviously, I'm not going to be able to sit them further back because they're pretty much right on the edge there but the bolts are like a good way through anyway <laughs> um, and actually it worked out really well because the front bolt on these which I don't actually put something through but the original back bolt when I fucked it up it lines up perfectly with this one here so I could put another one in there if I actually wanted to but anyway covers them up as well so you can't see it so you know it didn't even happen but yeah so that's um the top section done but yeah now it's on to um, the bottom section and I'm deciding whether or not, because when I make the wings, I'm going to make, I've got to cut out a big circle for the, um, the fog lights, but I don't know if I'm going to have to make a drill bit to cut that big hole. So I might see if I can get a laser cut or something, but the piece that sits in the middle, I was thinking like, you know, if I'm taking the time to get something laser cut, I might see if I can get that laser cut too, but anyway, we'll see how it goes, because yeah, got to get that bottom section done now. Alright, so I didn't make a video before I started today, but um, I've just, oh shit, plastic decides to come up right as I film. Um, I've just finished um, doing these like bottom pieces here. Um, so now obviously I can do the middle piece. But I mean to be quite honest I'm fine with not getting it cut today because I do want to get it laser cut with something on it. So, um, and also I've run out of um, discs to cut with and Bunnings is closed where I am. So um, I need to wait, get some land. But um, pretty much that's probably going to... Like, this is probably where I'm going to stop um, doing this main part now. Because um, obviously I've got to put the middle piece in, but that's after I got the cane cut. And I've got to do a piece at the bottom. Um, and I checked where the, the bash plate will come up to, like, around here, which is just further back than this part, which is perfect. So that means I'll put a piece, a piece in there um, for it to mount onto. Um, but, so that's pretty much, yeah, where I'll stop with this middle, middle section. And then I'll start doing the... Um, the side tubing next because I've got to get that done, which will take a little bit to do because figuring out the tube bender and stuff. But um, should be pretty good to, to do. So I won't be able to do anything for the next couple of days anyway because I've got to go to Wollongong for a few days. Um, and then yeah, so I'll probably have to start doing that next week, which is kind of sucks because I was actually really looking forward to starting the tube bending. But anyway, um, as you can see, I've got the um, the trying that that piece cut out or not cut out, um, marked out, ready to go. I pretty much found that the best way to do this, especially when you're back dealing with angles, because obviously you can't just measure up like this is 333, three, this distance, so I can't just measure like there and there because it'd be wrong. So I'd always put a center line um, 
mark out the longer side first, then up the then mark out like sorry these lines here for the, the top um, length, and then from here I'll put a ruler like there to there, which is the exact distance of three two three, and that's where I get the perfect angle, and then mark the top piece because that's exactly where it's got to be. But yeah, that worked out every time. So um, yeah, okay. So it's the next day, and you're probably thinking that oh it looks a bit different maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've taken out the bottom pieces because um, in my decision making and brain thinking and all that, um, that was a pretty fucking weird phrase. Um, like I was looking at bar the bars and stuff and I realized that the, the piece that I had here was like massive, like way too big and I just was not happy with it because it looked like really like boxy and weird. So what I've ended up doing, I was doing a lot of research on different like mounting methods for the winch and stuff and most people use four mil thick for all the all the plating and I'm using five so this is going to be even stronger technically so I'm actually going to mount the winch here on the front here instead and um like I like do one like those resla bars and stuff and what I'll do in here is as you can see I've taken the winch plate out I'll put um some tubing across to strengthen it all um on like the very bottom bit just on the here and also maybe another piece like a bit further up depending on how much space I've got I've got to check it out but and also I've got to knock all these off Actually, that side's almost done. Well, it's actually one side, one inch side done. But anyway, so I don't know much time because I've got the leaf falling on in sec, but as you can see, I'm just marked out to trim that, those pieces, and then I'll obviously trim this piece as well. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing now, so it will look a bit even more aggressive once I've uh, done that, so it'll be cool. All right, that's all I'm going to do today. But yeah, as you can see, now I've cut the, trim those pieces off, trimmed the sides as well, so it's looking a lot. Um, smaller now which is actually way more what I was looking after when I was um uh, making this in the first place like that looks way better oh yeah looking pretty good so yeah next week I'll do the bottom parts again and then start on the tubing and also get that piece in the middle as well the strengthening piece but yeah looking pretty good